Good day, students. Today we are going to make a digital graphic using Adobe Express. And your digital graphic is going to be square in shape. Um, it's going to have the photo in the center of it as sort of the main attraction. And you'll notice that I don't have any other photos on the graphic. All I have are fonts and shapes and lines. And so that kind of keeps the focus uh, on the picture in the graphic and on all of these words around the outside. The other thing I want you to notice about it is um, I don't have a lot of different fonts. That keeps consistency for the graphic. And finally, look at my color choices. I chose some colors here. This color is the same as the color of my dress. And then all the other colors in the palette that I used are similar. Um, complementary colors. They're not from all over the color wheel. They're basically pastels and live in the same color family. All right, well, how do we make one of these things? So you are going to start in Clever and you're going to choose Adobe Express. When you land in Adobe Express, um, you can see there are tons and tons of choices here. We're going to focus on one thing and one thing only today, and that's how to make a digital graphic. So you're going to click the button that says custom size because we're going to choose that square size. And the size that I want you to type into the box is 1200 by 1200 pixels. 1200, 1200, that PX is for pixel. And click the button that says create new project. The first step is to choose a background color. You can actually just close the search box because it takes up part of your screen. And you can see that background colors right here. Currently it is white. You're going to choose background color. Um, it's already suggesting some choices up front, some very light pale colors for the background. Um, you can choose from any color down here. And you can even make a custom color with this color picker. I'm going to choose this one. And when I close this box, you can see that my background already has a color. The next step is to add the photo of yourself. You're going to be uploading your photo from your Chromebook. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do right now is take a little time to name my project. That'll help me find it later when I'm looking for it. I am going to just use someone else's photo for our demo today. I'm going, all your menus are over here on the left. Media is where you get photos, videos, and audio files from. And so the first tab is photos, and I'm just going to search for a photo of a student. All right, here's a student. Um, this is the demo, so we're just going to pick this. Oh, I like this one with the arms up. Let's go with this one. Okay, so the picture kind of drops on here, and we're going to move it to the bottom center. Um, when you change the size of an image, you want to drag from the corner to keep the proportions the same. And it has that ugly yellow background. How do we get rid of it? There's a button right here that says remove background. And that's the back, that's the button that you're going to click to get rid of the background. All right. And now I can make my person a little bit bigger even. I like that. All right. Let's start to add some elements to our image. So we're going to close the media box, go over here to the elements and choose elements and then look at the top here you've got backgrounds shapes and if you keep going with that little arrow there's also icons and you can see i used some icons in the one that i made for myself um, this might be one that means something important to this person so let's go with this nature icon just click on it to put it on the screen on your graphic move it to where you want it to be Change the size of it again by dragging out at the corner. And of course, we're going to change the color palette. They're all going to come in black, and you're going to want to choose your color palette. So as you choose colors, it's going to begin building a palette for you and recommending colors. Going down here to more color. I'm going to stick with the blues for this one since the person's wearing a blue shirt. And choose that for my icon. Shapes. So some of my text I put against a background. So I'm going to put a shape behind it. And I'm just going to go with the basic circle. And you'll notice, see, since I picked blue, it's kind of making me stick with blue, and wisely so, I might add. 
um, I might actually lighten that up and add another color. And I'm going to show you something about order in just a second because I know I just covered up her hand. So I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to try for something a little lighter like that. That'll do it. Okay, great. I like that shape. So now you did notice that I was covering up her hand. And the way to fix that is to change the order over here. So I'm going to take this person and put it above that shape. And now her hand is over top of it. So we put some shapes in. Um, lines is another kind of a shape. So you can type the word line in here to get some lines. And there's some to choose from. Let's choose this one. And you can see there it is right there. I can pick it up and move it. I want to change the color so it shows up a little brighter. I think pink, a splash of pink maybe. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and then the other thing I want to show you, uh, I'm going to use Control Plus on my keyboard to zoom in to see a little bit better. And now I have this. And this is going to let me tilt the line so it's not square. And I'm going to actually try to match the tilt of her arm. There we go. And lastly, we need to learn how to add some text to our graphics. So text lives over here on the left. T for text. And you're going to choose this button to just add text. We're not going to choose any of these down here. We see I have so many colors and everything already there. So just click that button right there to add text. It's going to pop it down on the graphic. So you're going to select your text and type over top of it. And here's where you can change the style of the text. Uh, I need to select it again. There we go. Um, here's your list that you can choose some different fonts from. I will show you all the fonts. Let's go with this handwriting font. And I'm going to put it in the circle, so I'm going to make it white. So again, I'm going to just click on that fill. Choose something from the blue family here, this nice light blue. And close that color box. I can actually add an outline color. And it's giving me some recommendations. Let's see if I can find that same blue for that outline color. There we go. Nice. Close that out. Now I need that four-pronged arrow to move that graphic where I want it. And then I'm just going to squeeze from the corner to make it fit inside the circle. All right. Obviously, I'm going to add a few more things to this project than just what I have on the screen so far. But when my project's finished, this is how you're going to share it. Download if you want to just keep a copy of it for yourself, and that'll put it right on your Chromebook, and you'll have it forever and also in your Google Drive. Um, to share and turn it into Google Classroom, we're going to try this today. Click the Share button. Um, two steps to get it to Google Classroom. The first step is to choose Publish to the Web. I already gave it a title. You can choose to have your name show or not. Click Publish to the Web or Publish the Link. And then your next step is to go back to the Share button and choose that Google Classroom button. And that will let you turn it directly into Google Classroom.